Hi, I'm John Cangelosi, former MLB player, and I'm here at Cangelosi Baseball Academy to talk about steel breaks, okay? Things that I'm going to show you the proper mechanics of what I did to be successful, you know, and one thing that I was known for at the big league level, you know, obviously I was known for stealing bases, but one thing I took pride in, I was very explosive off my first step. I was not necessarily the fastest guy in the big leagues at the time. I didn't have a Ricky Henderson kind of speed or a Vince Coleman, but I was right there amongst the premier base dealers because I was very explosive after my first step. My crossover step, I had proper mechanics, proper running form. I didn't, I didn't lose anything off my crossover. And hopefully by me showing you a few tips, you guys will be able to understand how I was able to do that, okay? One thing that I did, again, judging back, the last thing I did as a base stealer, I made sure that I looked at second base, and I'm gonna show you why. Second base was in my mind. It's mine, it's mine. One, sometimes I would get out there and I didn't even think I was stealing a base that pitch, but instinctively I saw something in his delivery, boom, and I jumped on it, okay? So now, every pitch, I'm thinking about stealing every single pitch. Second base is mine, second base is mine. My head and my mind is there. It's gonna help me with my fundamentals and it's very important as a base dealer, once you make that crossover, my head's got to stay down. It goes right towards second base. I'm in a very low, very athletic, explosive position. Things that go wrong with kids right away, and again, I'm not saying that's going to make you a better base dealer, but I'll tell you one thing, it helped me with my first move because your head position, the staying down is very crucial, very key element in a proper uh, crossover. A lot of things that I see wrong in kids, they come up out of it. You come up out of it, now it's going to take you four or five more strides to get in that explosive position. Think of yourself as being a track star. They run very low, and then gradually you come up out of it. As soon as you come up out of it here, you are not maximizing your speed, okay? Now let's get into t t uh, some of the technique, okay? We'll go back into the lead. A little walk in the park, shuffle twice. Now a very simple concept that I used to think about I used to break my body in half, okay? Halves. I gotta go this way or I gotta go that way. And I gotta be very explosive in both directions, okay? So here I am in my relaxed position. I drop my hands, okay? Now I'm thinking second base is this way. I'm bringing my backside as tight as possible, as quick as possible towards second. And I'm gonna show you, okay? I'm in this position. I, I cross over, I explode towards second. Now I'm a track and field guy, watch this. Now I'm a track and field guy, boom. That's why I was able to be explosive off my first step. Things that I see wrong with the crossover. Here you go. I'm in this position. I drop my hands. Now this kid's getting ready to steal. Boom, I come, they call this an out and around guy. Now I'm a track and field guy. Am I ready to run? Am I ready to be explosive? No, he's gotta take four or five more strides to be full tilt. Here's another one I see. I'm in this position here. Then I got this guy, comes this way. Now am I a track and field guy? No, but he's getting closer. Here I still got a shimmy. You gotta make sure that this back side, your back half, explodes nice and tight towards second. You need to get this back side in the running direction as soon as possible. You do that, you'll be explosive. For me, you got to cover enough real estate. You got to be explosive. The proper way, and Davey Nelson, which was my mentor, he told me that I did this and I didn't know I did it until I went back in my videos. My feet were actually so quick that when I stole second, I would have a little jab step and then I'd go. And for you to teach that is very difficult. But physics wise, I did do that. But I can't teach that. So for me, I try to give youth kids the visualization of making sure you understand how to break your body in half and just bring that backside explosive. Think about really torquing with your core, your hands, but the main ingredient is getting this backside online as soon as possible towards second, okay? If you can do that, you will be explosive off your first step. Now let's talk a little bit about getting back to the bag as well. Here I am in this position. The crossover here is very important as well because this is what I see wrong a lot. If you have a swing guy, if you come up out of it, out of it, now all of a sudden you come here and you're trying to go down, 
you're not going to get back in time. I'm trying to teach you to be maximizing your lead this way. You need to get back there as soon as possible. So your first thing, break your body in half again. Use it in halves. I'm in this position here. He throws over. My first move with my head, it goes right down, down towards the, end, the third part of that base, the back corner, along with my backside. I'm in this position. I'm going to stay low. One aggressive crossover, one step and a dive back towards the back corner of the base. You do not want to get to the middle. You're allowing that first base an easier tag access. So for me, again, everything's being tight. You break your body in half, stay tight, low, explosive, back corner of the base. The other things that I see wrong, kids are in this position, they want to swing their leg. As soon as you swing your leg, you're allowing that ball to get there too. You need to be tight and explosive, down and low towards the back corner of the base, okay? The other thing to help you with your breaks, think about being on a cloud. The heavier you are, the more tense you are. The more tense you are, the slower your body's gonna react to something. You need to be quick. You need to be explosive. Train your body how to be light and quick. I get out in this position, I'm, I'm explosive, but I'm also, my butt's out from under me. The weight is in the balls of my feet, not behind, not, my heels are off the ground a little bit. I'm shimmying to put myself in an explosive movement this way and that way. So if you learn anything from this tip, make sure that you are aligned with both sides, putting yourself to be aggressive towards second and first, and make sure you break your body in half and just make sure you stay tight and towards the target. Thanks again, John Cangelosi.